10 days after signing off the season in style at the Valley came an even bigger boost when Ayrson Park welcomed a new messiah. Brown Robson was the man chosen to take over as player manager, an ambitious move by the Borough Board. There's not really much for me to say, ladies and gentlemen, only that um, if Middlesbrough Football Club went as ambitious as what I want to be myself as a manager, um, I wouldn't be standing here now. And I had numerous offers uh, throughout the country at different levels. Um, and to me, it just shows what Middlesbrough I want to do, that I'm standing here to, today. Um, and I'll be signing a new three-year deal. Um, and I'm looking forward to the challenge of being a manager. I'm looking forward to trying to build a successful side. And July next year, we'll have a fabulous stadium to play in. Um, and the facilities are excellent, what is going to be brought into the Middlesbrough Football Club. Um, so I've got every opportunity to be a success as a manager. The board are backing me 100% and that's why I'm standing here today. What can he bring to Middlesbrough? He can bring to Middlesbrough a huge amount of experience and expertise, a phenomenal amount of contacts within the game, but most of all, his own judgment on players. We believe that he has so much experience that has got to help his judgment. We need to strengthen the squad, we need to strengthen the playing side. Uh, our ambitions, we've had long discussions with Brian, our ambitions are uh, as one, and that is to make this club a major force at the very highest level of football as quickly as possible. Our immediate target is to win promotion to the Premier League as First Division champions next season. We know that that will need uh, team strengthening and we have made available the necessary funds to Brian to accomplish that. Robson's appointment awakened a new wave of interest and optimism. His arrival was clearly popular with the Essen Park fans who turned out to welcome him on his first day at the club. Robbo was back in the North East and the former England captain had big ideas. Do you know much about the club? Do you know much about the players that I think? Yes, I know quite a bit. Um, I mean, I've played against quite a few of them. Uh, you know, you, you see them on TV now and again. Um, so, yes, um, but the, the one thing about knowing the club and the history of the club and everything, I know one thing, that they're ambitious and that they've got a lovely stadium which is going to be finished next year. Um, you know, and, and that's the main thing to me. How important a part of the decision-making process was that new stadium and the ambition? It was more or less the full part, um, you know, because uh, as far as when the, the press talk about the money side of it on, on my own contract, I mean, I could have went to so, so many clubs on the same money, so it wasn't a, fa a fact of that with me. It was, um, I just felt that this was the right move for me on the ambition side of this club, on the playing side for myself, and also just the step up into management and the support I've had from the, the board uh, since I've come to this club. What is the challenge? Is it the fact that Middlesbrough, with all due respect to them, are a, a, a football club that hasn't been to Wembley in a major tournament? Is that the challenge you'd like to take a team like that and then push it forward? No, well my first aim is to try and get them into the Premiership um, because I think the stadium and the setup or, and the fans all deserve that. Uh, because I do think that this is a Premier League club. Um, that's my first aim. If we were ever to get to a final, um, that would be icing on the cake. Um, but there's a long way to go before that. Um, all, all I'm looking forward to the challenge at the moment is hopefully getting a few players to come to the club who will turn out to be good, really good players who can hold their own in the Premiership and if I can add uh, a few players like that into the, the team that's already here, then, um, you, you know, I'll be pleased with the job that I've done.